we were here the other day filming and we wanted to show you guys all the highlights but it was super windy because we're right on the sea here in Estepona sometimes if you get the wind from the sea it's hard to film right first things first the streets here in Estepona are beautiful as you can see behind me they all have these like beautiful flower buckets so every street here in Estepona has matching flower pots so say that street it has green and this street has pink and light green. They call they call the um, the city the Garden City, and I can see why. Because like look at behind me, and everywhere we go, are these pretty flowers, right? So definitely, definitely, definitely a Garden City. So right here is the Minnie Mouse Street because it's red and it's polka dotted. So this must be Daisy Street, Mickey Mouse's friend. Mickey, Minnie Mouse's friend. Because it's purple polka dotted street? <laughs> So the other day we went inside. This is the Estepona Orchidarium and it's one of the biggest ones in Europe. And so they have all these different species of flowers and plants and it provides all the flowers for all these streets that we're showing you here in Estepona. So we're right now inside the dome and um, you can hear the waterfalls. So uh, we're gonna take a little tour. I think it takes about 20 minutes to go through. And in case you're wondering, it's um, three euros per adult and uh, one for kids. So there you go. And um, all the flowers that are in here are grown for the streets of Estepona. So the beautiful flowers that you see is thanks to this really nice, uh, they call it an orchidarium, orchidarium. See this tree here, inside the tree, there's little flowers and plants like this. How is that possible to go? Well, they just, well, they plant them inside of the holders. So, Julia, what were you just reading? So, in here, there's about 5,000 plants. And there's 1,000 pretty hundred different species of those 5,000 plants. Wow. So, what we're going to enter into right now is kind of like a tropical zone within this dome. And um, they have a special species flower called the... You want? You remember? The gun... Gangora flower. Gangora. It's wow. grown in like Colombia and different places and um, what's special of, about it is when it exhales, what happens? It exhales like citrus. Well, citrus, yeah. Citrus smells, sandalwood. Eau de Cologne. Eau de Cologne. So it's really amazing. So hopefully we'll go uh, smell some nice aromas. area is just so lovely because you can come down here and it's a beautiful open square you can have a nice tapas and uh, this is what it looks like here so right now we're eating tapas and basically uh, there's this little menu here and um, for two euros you can get a drink and a little tapas so, and the beer, if you get a beer, it comes with little olives, so that's nice. Ooh, yummy. So every street that they have with all these little flower pots are all matching. So as you can see, these ones are like, matching my dress actually. <laughs>
You can get lost in all these little streets. We're at one of our favorite spots, which is like an Asian place. It's Mr. Noodles. We're gonna have like some hot dye or some red curry or something really good like that. Estepona is located right on the Mediterranean Sea, as most of you already know. Um, it's about an hour away from the Malaga airport, and once you get to the airport, if you don't have a vehicle that you're renting, you can easily, um, well, actually I'll put it a link below to the WhatsApp phone number of a dear friend of mine who runs a service and he can come get you <laughs> directly from the airport. But um, if not, you can easily do a bus that comes right into Estepona and um, get directly here. It's also only, well, if you wanted to fly into Gibraltar, you can do that as well. Uh, it's kind of halfway in between Gibraltar and the Malaga airport. So each of us matches a street. This is my street here today that I match. Julia matches this one right here. This is Julia's matching street because she's got her green outfit, green flower pots to go along. So I think I found my street here because I have a bit of blue. So we found Angelique's matching street. <laughs> so behind me is Estepona's town hall and it's also there is also a museum. And since Estepona used to be ruled by the Romans, you can see some of the remains in there. Right behind me, you can't see so good but because they're just doing construction. But that's remains of the castle, which is called the St. Louis Castle. It's fine? Little puppies. Oh, they're so cute. You can see, like right behind me, everything's kind of closed down and it's quiet. It's their siesta time, and um, this is one of the main streets here. If you want to go shopping, there's tons of stores. It goes all the way down on both sides. It's like any city that's on a beach. You have this whole beach area to come and enjoy, sunbathe, there's lots of little restaurants all along the way, and of course the Mediterranean Sea. So if it's a clear day, all the way there in a the distance behind me you can see Gibraltar and the mountains of uh, Africa, Morocco. One thing the girls absolutely love to do every time we go onto the Paseo, which is the walkway down by the sea, is play a game of chess like they're doing here. They absolutely love it. There's all these like little bars, restaurants. This is near the lighthouse of Estepona. And uh, you can walk all along the walkway and the paseo uh, along the seashore here, all the way from Laguna Village. You can actually start, um, if you go, there is about a 180 kilometer stretch that you can go by foot. They just finished off the last little bit here in Estepona. So you can start, it's called Neja, Nerga, Nerha, don't know how to pronounce it all the way to um, past Estepona here. So it's pretty amazing, uh, really nice uh, for all you guys who like bike riding or anything like that. So, And they call the walkway Senda la Litora. So Senda Litora, that's the name of the whole stretch. So if ever you're here and you're looking for a church to go to, we found this one called Healing Place Church. And they actually do their services in two different languages. So you can get a headset and listen to it in English, which is kind of nice. So this area here is called Laguna Village. It's right as you're coming into Estepona and um, it has a lot of shops and little bistros, cafes and uh, 
really nice happening nightlife, especially in the summertime. Apparently it's just the place to go. It's all along the seaside and just very luscious green and just a beautiful scenery. And then right here is the Kapensky Hotel. So it's right on the sea, has the most amazing grounds and amazing pool. Nice restaurants inside as well. Definitely would be a nice place to stay.